So in the last video, we took a look at uh, how we can get pomegranate seeds out and two different ways that we can eat pomegranates, uh, the seeds specifically. In this video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the main way that I eat pomegranates, uh, the way that I usually end up eating pomegranates. And it's the way I've been eating pomegranates uh, since I was a little boy, um, because it's, it's, it's mobile. You can take it anywhere. You don't need any gadgets, any knives, anything really. All you need is a, a nice pomegranate um, that doesn't, the skin cannot be broken, right? So the only thing that you require is a pomegranate that the skin is intact because what you're gonna end up doing is squishing it and getting this to act as a container for the juice. So you can't have any broken spots in the skin. Okay, and uh, this one seems to be good. Uh, no cracks, no holes. Uh, give it a nice little look, right? So it's a nice little pomegranate or nice big pomegranate. Um, so what you end up doing is slowly you take your pomegranate, take, take both hands and take one thumb on top of another thumb, right? And what you're gonna do is take the ridges and you're gonna press down on the ridges and you can hear it squishing, right? Initially it's hard, but the more you squish, the easier it becomes. And what's happening is you're breaking the seeds and you're getting the skin to hold the juice. And if, you know, if you press down a ridge, it doesn't want to give, don't worry about it. Move along to the other ridges. And you can switch thumbs if you want, but I usually just stick with one, one thumb. And then once you do, I usually press down from this end of the thumb and then on the ridges anyway, because they're the hardest parts. And once that's done, I usually press down with the top of my thumb in certain areas. But again, I used double fingers, right? And you gotta remember, right? Pomegranates, as we said in the last video, is pomegranate juice stains. And one thing that happens when you start doing this, uh, you get overexcited. Once it starts getting softer, you wanna get more juice out. You wanna get more juice out because when you bite into this thing or when you puncture a hole and you squish out the juice, uh, the more pressure in there, the more of a splash you get in your mouth. And um, it's just amazing. Just fresh pomegranate juice squirting into your face is just absolutely fantastic. Um, but be careful, right? And again, you're not, you don't want to wear anything where, uh, you know, you care about it. You're not going to do this with white clothes on because if, and sometimes this does happen, um, there's a weak spot in the skin that you haven't noticed and you end up squishing too hard there's too much pressure in there and the thing bursts and if it bursts on you you're going to get pomegranate juice on yourself or you know on upholstery or whatever it is so be careful don't be too greedy don't try to get too much juice out in, in the first squirt um, what happens is uh, it becomes easier to squish it later on when you start sucking it now take a look at this thing as you can tell the skin is soft now, right? You can push it in. Oh, see, take a look at this and keep an eye on it because every now and then you get a little bit of juice coming out. If you're getting a juice, if you're getting juice coming out, it means there's a little minute hole in there, or minute fracture in there, and it's getting ready for you to, you know, bite into. And what you want to end up doing is finding a weak spot that you're going to bite into and you're going to squish it. Now take a look at this. So what I ended up doing is squishing it to a point where I'm comfortable that I'm going to bite into this thing. And what I do is I pinch it, right? You take a look at that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bite that part off and be careful with this because what's going to happen is uh, it's going to squirt in your mouth. So you're going to bite it and you're gonna suck at the same time. Okay. And you get a little chunk out. There's a little chunk. Uh, once you reach this point, you're gonna 
whenever you're ready you're going to squish a little bit but you're not going to go crazy again the way you did initially because there is no pressure being built up there's a hole so everything's going to escape so from now on what you're going to do is put your mouth on the hole and squish and uh, squish and suck in the juices at the same time And what you can hear is the inside seeds are not cracking. So every time you suck and squish, uh, you're getting fresh juice out. Now, as you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to get fractures. Now, as you get fractures, you got to be careful with those things, right? So avoid those fractures. Don't press on those fractures or on the sides of them. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, for those of you that might find it hard squishing pomegranates with your fingers because it does strain out the fingers. I mean, even, even for me sometimes when I go a little too ballistic on these things, uh, um, after, after doing a few of them uh, a few days in a row, I find my fingers get a little bit sore. So, you know, you, you can't go too ballistic with this uh, with the squishing. And if you do find it hard um, to squish pomegranates with your fingers, there's a couple tools you can use. One of them is a flat counter top and another one is um, just a simple spoon okay now again you have to be careful with these pomegranates right because if they burst on you uh, they will stain and they will you know sometimes destroy things that you care about uh, so be careful with these especially when you're using either the countertop or the or the spoon because when you're doing those you're not feeling the pomegranate um, so you might miss a weak spot or you're not feeling it all over the place where you might miss a weak spot okay so what you do um, is basically for the first method for using a countertop you want a nice flat area and I've moved over to the sink because just in case the sucker bursts I don't want it to destroy the table or the upholstery or anything like this right so find a nice flat surface and what you do is you're looking for the ridges of the pomegranates right because those are the ones you're gonna take out first so what you do is you move over to the flat surface and take the pressure on the pomegranate on the ridge and you press down on it okay and you can hear it right and you roll the pomegranate around right and I mean just a little bit of rolling I mean you can take a look at this right it's already squished and it's a really good method you just have to be careful with it right and what you can do is go to your pomegranate around the edges on the top and on the bottom what happens is these are nice it's basically a ridge going all the way around it so what you can do is put pressure on the end and roll along like this right right you can see it squishing okay and again be super careful with this because once it starts getting a little bit softer you might now want to start using your fingers okay because it's fairly soft now right and it doesn't take as long as it would just squishing with your fingers you just have to be very careful with it and don't be too greedy right beautifully squished right like so nice and usually the pomegranates that have the biggest ridges they're the best ones to squish uh, for your juice right and once you're done this what you can do is do a pinch on it right and once you got a pinch that's when you take a bite 
and you suck in the juice. So we've got a pinch right there, right? You see it? So what we're going to do is just take a bite out of that and suck in the juice. Nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. And what you need to do is constantly check it uh, just to make sure there's no serious fractures in there where the juice is going to pop all over you. Absolutely beautiful. And that's what it looks like, right? That's just sucking it a couple times, two or three times, right? You can continue with this and continue squishing. Uh, but the main burst you get is from that first, first bite with the squish and uh, just taking a let the juice go in, right? Taking in the juices. Now, the second method when it comes to using a tool to do this is you basically take your spoon right you take a spoon and you put your finger your thumb on it like this and you're basically using this as the pressure point right so you take this and instead of putting the pressure on the finger on your thumb and the pomegranate you're going to use the metal and you do this with it right this still requires a little bit of muscle but it's it's less than what you would need just with the straight up fingers. Right. And you just go at it, right? Just the same way you would uh, when you were using your fingers, just straight up with your fingers without the spoon. Now what happens, it reaches a certain point. I want to grab the plate. It reaches a certain point where um, you've sucked it enough and you squished it enough where the opening starts to crack you can see that crack there right and once that happens um, it becomes harder to get the juice out so what you can do is just take it and keep on squishing it keep on squishing it and you can tear it open in half Oop. and you got you got pomegranates out, right? You got the seeds coming out. Now I didn't do an amazing job of squishing this thing. Um, was certain this thing cracked earlier uh, than I had anticipated. Usually I can squish it enough where most of the seeds have cracked open, right? So it's basically just seeds left in there. There's very little juice. There's very little meat in there. Uh, for this one right now, there's a fair bit of meat. So all I can do is just flap it open and just pour the stuff in, right? Squish it, squish it, squish it. And your seeds come out. The other way you can do it is just grab a spoon, right? And just eat it directly out of the... You can do, eat it directly out of the shell. Or... And you got your pomegranate. So. Now half these seeds are... Um, the pop, the juice is gone, the meat is gone. And the other half is it's got meat on it. Usually, uh, if you do this properly, if you're lucky enough where the skin doesn't break early, uh, you can basically reduce almost all the seeds to juice that you would have sucked out. So what I want to do right now is um, grab another pomegranate, one with uh, with the skin in, skin intact, no holes, no cracks in it, and I'm going to bring the camera closer and. I'm going to show you how I squish the pomegranate because it, it takes a little practice, a little getting used to, to do this. Um, because, you know, initially you get a little excited. If it gets really soft, you, you want to get as much juice in there as possible because the first bite in is just absolutely amazing. The juice is just burst into your mouth. 
so it, it takes a little practice to get good at it uh, but once you do it's it's absolutely amazing one of the best fruits to eat on the go really uh, because it's self-contained uh, you take it you got fresh juice uh, and once you're done you can you know crack it open and just take the seeds and op you know pour them in your hand or you know just eat them straight out of the shell half shell 